do y'all respect me as not just as a streamer but like as a human being that because like this the, the human race is powered by storytelling and history and if you guys are not respecting me as a storyteller that says a lot about you and your viewpoints on humanity and i think that evolution is a real thing so whenever you guys talk about how the human race is going to advance and maybe go to space maybe you should think about when you talk about people who tell stories and share his personal things with you guys. Because uh, the square root of three is not seven. I learned that now. It's fucking 100. You guys failed AP math. And I know that now. Which is why you won't get into Harvard. But I got into Yale. Let's watch this video. Came a meme and this is that story. My name is Joe Sergio, And you may know me from this meme. Have you ever had a dream that... Yes. That you, um, you had... This all started... I had that dream. I did have that dream. I was five years old. My favorite thing to do when I was a kid was watch fantasy action stuff. You know, Dragon Ball Z, Power Rangers. Look at Nicole. I liked all the... Are you... Are you done? Are you done making fun of my, thro the, my, my, my thought process? I don't know if y'all know this yet. Y'all, I got ADHD, bro. I can't be focusing on one thing at a time. You can't, you can't keep doing, you can't keep getting away with this. Disney stuff. Hercules came out around the summer before I went into kindergarten. And I definitely watched it a lot. I really liked the soundtrack, especially Zero to Hero. That was, that was a tune. That still is a tune. One day, my mom reached out to me and said, do you want to be in a movie? There was a few schools that they filmed at for this HBO production. Good Night Moon and Other Sleepy Time Tales. That sounds like something I would read at night. That's that when the, when a book look like that is going to put you to sleep. The reason my elementary school got picked in part was because the production manager, their kid was in my class or in one of the kindergarten classes. At first, I really had no idea what this production was about. They had repurposed one of the bigger classrooms to look sort of like a nursery. There's lights, there's cameras. I, I picked up pretty early on that it was about bedtime stories and rituals because that was what the, the people interviewing us were okay, interested okay. in. So they were asking us guiding questions to that effect. The red sweater, the haircut, that was like all my mom. She really wanted me to get on TV. Aww. They were asking us a bunch of questions. There wasn't anyone that I would Aww. consider a rival per se, but there were kids that were even better at getting the attention of the That's producers. That's so cute. And based on a promise I made to my mother in the car this morning that I was definitely going to get on TV, I kind of had a sense that time was running out and I didn't get as much talking time as compared with the other kids on my panel. And then they asked me about dreams. I remember this one scene from Hercules where Hercules searches out for Pan, who's Danny DeVito's character. He doesn't want to train anybody anymore and he's a failure, so that's when Hercules comes in and tries to persuade him about a dream. Have you ever had a dream? I've had a dream that I wanted so much that I could do anything. And once he said that, it, it really resonated with Pan and Pan. He said, was okay, trying fine, to say that. The rest is history. I didn't so know that. that. Was, when I came in with my Hail Mary speech about dreams, suffice to say, I didn't, I didn't come even close to, to what, what Hercules had to say about dreams. Have you ever had a dreams? I don't know why, but that, that's supposed to be cute, but that makes this 10 times more funnier because he was really trying to say, he was really trying to say what he had to say. <laughs> and like, I felt him on a very personal level. Like, I get it. I get it. I get it because like you have this shit pre- rehearse in your head like he he got this shit like recorded in his head and when when it's time to say it it's like that shit went backwards it went it like did a roller coaster in your mouth and i get it he was he was getting ready to say his piece and he would have bodied that too but i get it because like literally what he just went through is what i go through at subway because i'd be like okay you're gonna get a spicy italian with italian bread american cheese and it's not even for me i'm not even for even ordering for me and then she'd be like all right, what sandwich can I get for you? I'd be like, yes. What sandwich can I get for you? And she'd be like, bitch, I'm making the sandwich. Or that's like, you know, when when um waiters come to you, they give you your food, they be like, enjoy your food, and you be like, yeah, you too, huh? Like you, what? Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Come back soon. Yeah, you too. Come back soon to where? This is their store. That's their store. What the fuck do you mean come back soon? Where are they going to go? You get down like that? That's crazy. So it's like, that's why, that's why 
one having anxiety bad social skills and adhd is a basically a a, a recipe a concoction for 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 word fuck ups so what you're experiencing right now is the same thing that be happening to me when when he talked you could literally see his one brain cell running around doing all the work pressing all the buttons like shit this shit finna fucking sing bro abort mission abort mission abort oh there he go he talking but what's up ton that's exactly how it feels like when he talks look at him you see you can literally see the one brain cell carrying the weight of all his thoughts on its shoulders look to, to what, what her that's how i feel about that's you. how i be exactly have you ever had a look. dream that that you um you had you you what you could you do you what you i'm thinking exactly a little bit. exactly if i was a producer's first of all why did i let that clip go out why did i let that clip go viral why did they release it because they clearly they they had access to the clip they could they could have deleted it for him because i'm pretty sure he felt bad afterwards why did they keep it and then why did they continue to release it if i was a producer i would have said cut hug him hug him give him a hug and a capri sun he did his best he did his fucking best and now he's probably going to be crying in the car because he promised his mom that he was going to get on tv that day brain factory reset mid scene literally he had an ios update in the middle of his speech he was doing his fucking best and you know what he deserves a fucking Oscar. Or, yeah, Oscar. Slower than how I'm talking, which tends to happen, so. You, you can do so, you, you do, you can, you. Look how scared he is! Homie was having an iOS 13 update. Look how nerd, you can see it in his eyes. You can see the Apple logo. Loading it up. Loading it up. It was on 70%. He was almost there. You could hear the words. He wasn't speaking gibberish. They were clear words. But the words was just not in order. He was at 70%. Y'all couldn't let him update all the way? He was trying to turn on the phone mid-update. You saw the fucking white line. Not finished. Look at him. And then after the cameras turned off, all the apps loaded back up. And now he got it together. But y'all don't have enough room for another take. Bullshit propaganda and this is why this country is going to hell on a handcart but i'm kind of hoping that if i have the beginning and the end of that speech down everything else was going to kind of fall into place you, you can you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything look how proud he is look now look how look how that's me even if i do fuck up the sentence i'm gonna smile afterwards because i know i bodied that shit in my head you didn't understand i don't give a fuck i know what i said and you don't Maybe I should create my own fucking language. You see how proud he is? <laughs> he sure did have a dream so much that he could do anything. And he did it. What are you doing? Hmm? Hmm? I thought so. He ate so right. Everyone likes to point out my signature lean back and smile. Yes! It's like, ah, oh, I totally nailed that. If memory serves did. you, the reaction in the he room... He did. He ate that. ...was very deadpan and professional by the interviewers. So they just kind of let me talk. Like, oh, okay, yeah, dream, sure. Like, you know... And that makes me happy. They did not They did not cut him off. They didn't be like, cut, cut, stop. Stop it. Thank you for the two angel coins. He said, Nicole's so fine right now. I take care of her kids and pay her child support. Wait, Ma, delete that before she sees. It's way too late because you gave me money to say that, boo-boo. How you know I got kids? How many kids do I have? You know I got kids. <laughs> you say you try to pay child support too? Damn, not you offering to pay the child support. Maybe I should go have some. Seven? <laughs> You're all the spot on. The both of you said seven. Huh. What makes you think I have that many kids? <laughs> you said I don't have a hobby. I just be getting busy. I'll run with that. <laughs> And oh, you know, we're, we're all set here, Joe. Like, that was great. And you know, so what if I do? Good job. I, I wasn't too sure whether they were gonna use anything that I said, but I definitely felt like what I said was really, really compelling. I didn't it was. hear much follow up about the movie until it was time to go see the premiere in New York. And so it was this Did big they keep fancy it in? call that HBO booked out and they invited all the kids that had a speaking part 
It was kind of a red carpet moment. And I enjoyed watching the production and all my other friends that talked. Then, and then my part is an outtake at the end of the movie. The whole audience is laughing at me with the benefit of hindsight. I think they were more so laughing with me, but I didn't feel that at the time. And I actually was so upset with the producers. I actually blamed them. I thought that they had manipulated the film in some way to make it look like I He didn't stammered. even know he did I didn't that. Even accept that I had stammered on, on the camera, which isn't true but it's just to say I wasn't necessarily a good sport about that. All I can do is visualize him in the theater fuming, like, I can't believe they did this shit. Like, <laughs> like, he was literally in the room, in the theater, like, wow, they, not only did they use me, they just waited to use me towards the end, they fucking edited it. How do I tell this entire theater that that's wrong? That's wrong, that's not real. That's that's not right. That's stop laughing. What are y'all laughing at? Why are y'all pointing? Why are y'all pointing at me? That's not fun. <laughs> that's not funny. I want a Capri Sun. That's how that would go down for me. They betrayed my man's exactly. That's how I felt. They betrayed him. They did him dirty. I literally go cry in the car. Did I ever tell you about that time I I I was cussing? So I started hiding because I didn't know I was cussing. Y'all know that song? <laughs> that one song that that's like, is it is it Fifty Cent? Or is it ludicrous that's saying that song? That one that goes, move, bitch, get out the way. Get out the way, bitch, get out the way. I was in first grade. I was in first grade when that song dropped. That was ludicrous, bet. That was Luda, I knew it. Um, I was I was in first grade when that song dropped, and I had no clue. I had no clue that that song was a cuss word. So I'm sitting in the back seat in my aunt's car, and I'm just, I'm like, yeah. Move, bitch. Get out the way. My aunt turned around. She said, the fuck did you just say? What, what did you just say? And I said, I said what I said. Move, bitch. Get out the way. She said, I'm telling your grandmother. And I'm like, wait, what? What did I do? I'm singing a song. You didn't tell me to be quiet today. What's, what's going on? What's going on? She was like, you're not supposed to say that. I'm telling your grandmother. And at the time, I was so horrified about getting in trouble with my grandma. The second we got home, I I got out of the car. I was so horrified. I was going to pee on myself. I was so horrified because, one, I didn't know what I did wrong. I got out of the car, and I ran to her car and hid up under the car in the garage. Because my aunt was like, guess what your granddaughter said today? And my grandma was like, what she say? What did that baby say? And she was expecting me to say some like some smart shit like that. Like I got an A in class or something. She was like, what did that baby say? Mom was like, yo, she, yo, yo, your granddaughter know all the words. Now she up here cussing. I'm like, what does that mean? I'm, so I'm hiding underneath the car and I'm just, I'm crying. I'm like, oh my God. My grandma comes into the garage and she's like, now why is she under the car? <laughs> like of all places I could have hid. I could have hid upstairs in my room in the kitchen somewhere, but I hid up under the car. So that's how you know that. I was a horrified child and just said shit. You said your voice don't didn't even mature. That must have been gold. Yeah, I was in the backseat talking about the no, bitch, get off the way. It sounded like a damn chipmunk and I was screaming. So, yeah. It, it, but, like, it's her fault. She played the uncensored version in the car. So how was I supposed to know that was bad? No one told me that bitch was bad. Where I was going, I was calling everybody a bitch in school. Now I don't. What's up, little bro? You said that put my man in a post credit. Right. They treated homie like a Marvel scene. That especially because for the rest of my childhood and early teenage years, that was always going to be shown at most family reunions. Anyone in my family that wanted to get a VHS or a... First of all, he should be proud now because I'm pretty sure he's banking off of that shit now. He's banking off of it. What's up, Harrison? DVD now she calls everyone a bench. I've learned my lesson. And they all reveled in my part. And I just kind of want that swept under the rug. You I want to get past it. And it was more or less buried. And then... One of my friends reaches out to me in high school and he says, dude, I can't believe it. Um, somebody circulated the clip of your video. Eventually someone put that on YouTube and it started to get momentum. It was in the tens of thousands to the hundreds of thousands of views. And now the you're famous I, for it. I looked on YouTube at the original post, it's about 76 million views. And that's just YouTube. So now I want to take this opportunity to say what I meant to say. Say that. it, say your, oh my God. Talk your shit, say it. This is iconic. Have you ever had a dream? that was so palpable, so crucial to your goals and your aspirations that you would do 
absolutely anything to accomplish it. I've had that dream, and this is my story. <laughs> he said it! You know, I like the stutter better, but he came back to redeem himself. You like the original version better? Yeah, I do. But, like, now he feels fulfilled. Now he feels like he actually said what he needed to say. However, the stutter is iconic. Have you ever had a dream that you, that, that, that you, that, that you dreamt, yet yeah, that, that, so much that you could do anything? And I was like, I, Bretton, I felt that. When he said that, I felt that on a spiritual level. I was like, hell yeah. I, I know what that feels like. I have a dream, and I have a scream. Watch more. Yes. Oh, I remember that video. Homie turned into a meme real quick. Yo, I literally, I love that kid. And I think that video should be shown on a regular basis, just so people can be reminded how easy it is to, to stutter and fuck up your words. I do it all the time. In fact, I'm not sure how I get on stream all the time and say clear sentences. And I don't do that often. But when I do, I surprise myself every day about how articulate I'm becoming. So with practice comes perfection. Isn't that... Isn't that how you, with, uh, pra uh, practice makes perfect. There you go. And, and, and I can attest to that because I've been perfecting some things that I've been saying. That man look good. Don't start Zoe. Hey, Zoe. He said, big sis, I still start a lot on camera. So do I. So even, if, even when I know that I'm going to say what I need to say perfectly, it's not going to come out right sometimes. Cause I'd be thinking about it. I'd be thinking. Sometimes you, with, with great powers come with, with great, with great power becomes great. <gasps> with, uh, with great power becomes great. What's it? What's what is it saying? With great power becomes not becomes with great power comes great responsibility. There you go. I know that folks. <laughs> I know what I, I, I know what I'd be talking about. I knew it. What? Oh my God, y'all be embarrassing me. Y'all be making me feel like I don't be known.